All right. Weight loss, dog pox, and banging. There we go. All right. Billy Boy. He goes, I got no nickname for you. I don't worry about, I don't worry about it. Thanks for the podcast. I'm a sales rep and use your podcast to de-stress. Is that a word? Mm-hmm. Uh, don't you do that with jeans? That's on, distress. Oh. On the Monday <laughs> afternoon drive home. Oh, nice. Six months ago, my company laid me off, and I've used your podcast to fat, mate, fat shame myself and work out during the day. I love it. Good Dude, fat you. shaming works. No, it doesn't. Yes, it well, does. I guess it did it in does. this case. It does for me. I stand in the mirror shirtless, and I just go, look what you did. <laughs> look what you did. You, nobody's going to love you. And next thing you know, I'm out there eating kale, jogging down the street with my white legs. <laughs> um, he said I dropped 40 also, pounds. Yeah, can we talk about how you're dressed for a sport that would, like, never have you? Why are you dressed like that? Because no, I was going to go on a bike ride. <laughs> you're matching. You actually look pretty cute, I have to say. But, I mean, no guy wants to look cute. Oh, all right. Guys, yeah. oh my look god, cute. you look cute. You do. You look cute. I would I would I would give you a second glance at the gym if you were wearing your little oh, Nike Jesus outfit. Jesus Christ. Really? That matches. And what am I supposed to be thrilled by that? Yeah, you yeah, should be. I, 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 oh shit, you'd give me a second glance. Yeah. Yeah, you should be happy. All right. But you Consider fucking, yourself lucky. I don't like your mint chocolate chips fucking colored sweater you have. This on. is rag and bone, okay? Okay, this listen is some to this real guy. fashion shit. I've dropped 40 pounds and it's been great. Good for From you. 260 to 220 and size nice. four, 42 pants to th- size 36. Nice. Good for you. How the fuck wait, are you? Wait a minute. Yeah, how are you size? How are you 220 pounds size 36 pants? Mm, how does that work? 42 to a 36. This guy's got to be jacked. He's on the juice. <laughs> <laughs> he's got fucking he's got <laughs> giant shoulders. 80 pound shoulders. Hmm. Um, he go, anyway, so here's my dilemma. He goes, I have a lab, not a pot, a lab, golden retriever mix. Aww. And we go to the park near my house every day to play fetch off the leash. There is usual, the usual, there is the usual suspects of about 10 to 15 people that bring their dogs out to play. I live in a slightly unsafe city, parentheses, Baltimore. The wire. Yeah. Wait a minute. Didn't they shoot the wire there? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Slightly. Um, other not than, all Baltimore. Yeah. Hashtag not all Baltimore. Yeah, you, you got you got the fucking waterfront. That's sort of nice for half Me a second. More. Although, didn't what's his face? He had a meeting down there one time. One of the episodes. Oh. The you, the guy you like, the English guy, Edgy on that Salva? show. I don't know what his fucking name is. Oh, his name on the show though was um Sturgis, Striker. Yeah. Wait. Spalding. Sterling. No. St- all right, let's move on. <laughs> um, and last week we were outside discussing Stringer Bell. Stringer Bell, yeah. Yeah, I did yeah. put some new words in my head that I can remember. And last week we were outside discussing the group of kids, groups of kids on bikes that are grabbing women's asses Ugh. while jogging in the park. Mm-mm. So one guy starts telling the women to grab the kid that does that and hold them there until the police come. Oh, yeah, that, that's really safe and realistic for women to do. Is that sarcasm? Yes, that is sarcasm. Oh. Keep reading. Well, just because he addresses it in the next sentence. All right, don't fucking order me around on my po- What's wrong with you? Nothing. What? Jesus Christ. Um, he goes, I think you can see the... T- <laughs> Keep reading. I've made my comment. Continue. You are drunk with power. Um, he goes, I think you can see the danger here of anyone... Any one adult grabbing a 14 to 16 year old kid and think that the other kids will just ride away. You're going to get beat down and probably hit in the head with a brick. Sounds like the beginning of a Death Wish movie. Um, so this same guy who, by the way, is a hedge fund manager and knows everything, starts telling me all the fights he's been in. Uh, he goes, I'll buy each listener on, of this podcast a beer if he's even <laughs> been in one fight. He goes, so his wife is there, and everyone is listening. He says, I want to fight one time with just my mouth. So before you can say anything else, I say, what did you do, blow them? (laughs) (laughs) He goes, Fantastic. He goes, well, everyone laughs. He can't really say anything, and he storms off, gets about 10 yards away, and tells his wife she has to come home. She throws me a wink and says that was hysterical. 
I think you hurt his feelings. Uh, oh, ooh, Jesus mm. Christ. Doors opening and other Don't doors get closing. It, 36 pants. Go he goes, get it. I found out a couple of days later that I'm going back to work and I'm being re- relocated. He's going to say, can I bang her before I leave? That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> back to work and I'm being relocated over a thousand miles away. What's the problem? Well, his wife, his Oh, you wrote it wrong. Well, his wife is a hot piece of ass and has started sending me Facebook messages and Uh-oh. texts. Oh, texts? What do you mean texts? When she gets your number? I you skipped a part of that story, sir. Saying she wants to sleep with me before I leave. They have mm. no kids, and she showed me divorce papers that she is willing. she's waiting to file uh, after he gets his next bonus check in oh, August. God. Normally, I'm a pretty upstanding dude. He's got to build up credibility. Yes. People like me in the community. I've recently lost weight. I have a lab <laughs> golden retriever mix, and I go to the dog park. <laughs> he wants to fuck this guy's wife. Uh, he goes, I don't believe in crossing lines, but this one feels different. I'm moving within the next six weeks. What should I do? And thanks, and go fuck yourself. Nia, I'm going to pass it over to you. <laughs> You know good and goddamn well you need to stay away from that woman. All right? You're doing well. You lost weight. You got nice little one-liners. You know how to put people in their place. Walk away. You'll find somebody to fuck a thousand miles away where you get relocated. Okay? This is not the last piece of hot ass that you're going to come across. So relax yourself. So what you're saying. Pat yourself on the back for the good line and the fact that you're getting attention from hot pieces of ass who are looking to take their husbands for all their worth before they divorce them and start banging the smart ass at the dog park. Be happy for that, but you can fuck somebody else. So what you're saying is it's like when Columbus sailed over to America, which was actually down to Cuba, I believe, before he started chopping off people's hands because they couldn't find gold for his fillings. Okay. Um, they saw branches, right, in the water that let them know that land was coming. Okay. Like that was a good sign. So you're saying this this is just a hot piece of ass floating by, yeah. letting him know that he's he's about ready to get on Pussy Island. Absolutely. So <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. That was a long I'm way saying. to go. All right. So just 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 walk away. I'm sure it's very flattering, but you already you already humiliated the guy. You did you did your you did your work. That was a great line. What did you do? Blow them. That's fantastic. And she's been waiting for a guy to come along to put her husband into his in his place. And all that stuff. So, yeah, good for you. But no, don't don't be that guy. Walk away. All right. You'll find somebody else. I say do it. All right. <laughs> Fame. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do it. You, you know, you're the voice of reason. Go ahead. You're, you're absolutely right. Because you have no idea why she wants to do that, you know, because she might in an argument and be like, oh, yeah. And you remember that guy at the dog park? Well, I fucked him. Exactly. And he was better. And then all of a sudden, this guy sounds crazy too. Because why is she showing you divorce papers and like I'm going to divorce him as soon as he gets his next bonus check? Stay away from that crazy broad. Stay away from her. Good call. No, she's not. So that's TP right there. What's that? Toxic pussy. (laughs) (laughs) It is. Yeah. All right. I agree with fame. Dear Bill, I am an aspiring actor and have been. Uh, and have been for quite some time now. I'm an inspiring actor and have been for quite some time now. I am the worst. I don't know where to pause in sentences. He goes, You're I went. good at reading out loud. Really? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to tell me next? I don't tan well? <laughs> um, I went. <laughs> Your forearms do pretty good, but the rest of you is like. Well, what do you want me to do? Happen. Walk down the street in a fucking Speedo there? <laughs> I, I went to a LaGuardia I went to a LaGuardia High School, a school for performing Dang, arts. I want to live, live forever. forever. It's a good school. Um, in pursuit to become an actor. While there, I met I don't say names here. Ansel. Ch- Ansel. I don't do names on here. Oh. He goes, "You may know him from a couple of movies he's in now." Cuz you never know what he's going to say. Okay. Um, he was an arrogant jerk, see? Oh. That talked about he was going to get out of high school and go straight into acting without a care in the world. You see, his father is a famous photographer for a magazine, so he already had a shoe in to break into the industry. Well, what's he supposed to do? Not use it? High school was a while ago, and now I'm schlepping it, doing student films and extra work while he's rocking a 1.2 million Instagram followers because his movie just came out. 
How do I not feel bitter and resentful? I know I'm not supposed to want fame as much as I do, and I'm coming off really bitter and resentful, but it's just how I feel. That's honest. Yeah, he's being honest. You can't That's get honest. mad at that. This is what you do. You, you say God bless him and his... Uh, his his success and you stop stalking him on the internet. I was just about to say, stop following him on Instagram. Stop worrying about what he's yeah. doing, how many followers he has. And I know the movie that you're referring to did incredibly well this weekend. Hey, let's hey, let's let's not give it let's away. It let's not give it away. But just what let was it he go. in Maleficent? Millicent? Maleficent. <laughs> Male efficient. Um, but but let it go. This Do is your what thing. All right. Work, go to class. Here's the deal. Take your parts when you get in, put, get your reel together. Here's Do all the, deal, the things sir. that an actor is supposed to do. Also, you're not in a what, – what, what did you call yourself? I'm an aspiring actor. You're not an aspiring actor. You are an actor. So let's, let's change the way we talk about ourselves. You are an actor, okay? Just because you're not in this billion-dollar making film doesn't – you're an actor, okay? Do your thing. Don't worry about anybody else. We're all surrounded by people who are going to be more successful than us. That's the way that it goes. You don't know where this guy is going to end up. You only have yourself to worry about. So just just let it go. You know? I know that's hard, but, you know, who cares what he's doing? The other guy that we can't I say care. his name. No, you don't.